Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today I'm at the Media Archaeology Lab in Boulder, and I want to do a quick demo of how to load up disk images, and specifically the total replay game image, onto the CFFA 3000 in a 2GS. So let's get started. the case off the 2GS. So to do that, there's two tabs in the back. You just press the tabs in, lift up on one side, do the other one. And then just lift up from the front. So here is the CFFA 3000 card right there. And you can see it's got a CF card in it. You could plug a USB stick straight into it, but what we've done is actually used like a little extension cable to make it easier to change out disk images by just plugging it in here. So let's go ahead and we'll put that back into slot seven. Put the lid back on, starting with the front. I'll take the USB stick from the CFFA 3000 and plug it into my laptop here. And then I've downloaded the total replay disk image and I'll just drag that disk image onto the USB stick and it's copying over. So on this USB stick, I've got total replay, which I just copied, GSOS 604, Pitch Dark, Rastan, I've got Battle Chess as well as Arkanoid 2. So we can go ahead and eject this and then plug it into the USB extension that's attached to the CFFA 3000. When I go ahead and turn the computer on, I'll hit the M key as it starts up and that'll take me to the CFFA 3000 menu. Once I'm there, I can actually go to Smart Port Assignments and then this gives me a list of all of the current disk images that are loaded onto the USB stick in the smart port. And then here's all of the available ones that are on the USB. So you can see if we scroll down here, here's total replay revision one. And I can go ahead and just hit return and that'll add it to the list. And this is the order that they'll boot up. So it'll boot into GSOS, then it'll mount pitch dark and total replay. So let's go ahead and see that in action. So we'll boot. Now that we have GSOS booted, you can see we have three drives here. This is my main hard drive with GSOS. I've got Pitch Dark here mounted. And then I also have what's called A.4AM.Pack. And this is the total replay. So if we click on the launcher here, it'll go ahead and start up total replay. And we can go ahead and do whatever we want and play whatever games we want. However, that's a little inconvenient to have to boot up GSOS and then start it up. So instead, what we can do is make it launch directly into Total Replay. So to do that, let's turn it off. Hit the M key to go into the CFFA 3000 menu. And now if I go Smart Port Assignments, what I can do is just delete GSOS, delete Pitch Dark, and only have Total Replay as the single disk image. So now when we go back and we boot, it should boot directly into Total Replay. And you can see how instantaneous that is. And just to prove that it'll work every time, let's turn off the computer. And we'll turn it back on. And it should boot straight into that disk image. So there you go. That's how to load up Total Replay on the 2GS using the CFFA 3000. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of how to load disk images onto the CFFA 3000 and have fun playing Total Replay. Thanks for watching.